Start recording. And we are live, sirs. Okay. So this is gonna be a video for sketching. I'm gonna make this a short video as always. Oh, when I say short, I mean like just below an hour best, you know. So the idea is to sketch something and, you know, use reference and whatever you're using as inspiration and try to merge them together. So let's just get on with it, right? So this is like, this is like how I do my sketches. I, I keep it simple, I keep it loose, I keep it quick. So it becomes easier to make things like this. Don't have to worry too much. You know, like. And then, you know, just keep drawing and come up with your line work. Now, the thing about this, these sketches are, um, I. I'm not really critical about my details. It doesn't matter if the details are not perfect. Um, it's okay. It's okay to get them wrong. It's okay to uh, not be the best version of your drawing. You know, it's it's training. It's training when you're doing these kind of things. So you just have to train. And this is basically what I do. Like I just keep, I just, I just do this for training, and it helps. It really does. You know, you you improve over time, and you just get better. Right. So we are not really drawing the fingers, like just making the silhouette, trying to understand where the silhouette comes from. Right. Just drawing this part. And you don't have to worry about anything in this case. Just, just draw the way you think is right. And use your reference to learn from, uh, to learn the anatomy and all that stuff, you know, all the important stuff that, that you need as an artist to come up with good uh, fundamental drawings. This is how I want to draw the eyes. I'm not really drawing realistic. I like, you know, manga and anime and comic books, so I like to draw them this way. You know, using the reference of that of the real of the real person in the picture. I just picked this picture from Pinterest. I do not know who the model is, so yeah, shout out to whoever it is, I guess. Bullet in the in the mouth. Just don't don't really want to draw it in detail, kind of thing. Just, it's just that. And shade this part. This will be like the teeth. And will be like this, and this will be the lips. Pretty much, I kind of have to be careful at that point. You know, you're like you're making something not very. Um, they're not major strokes or major line work, so you know you can slow down, and you know that's where you're like, okay, I'll just slow down and make those those marks on my yeah, in this case it's digital paper you could call it but yeah so, probably this is where i want the eyebrows i am changing the drawing a bit like the face is a little more tilted and i'm doing that on purpose because i want that and then you got the shoulders Shoulder is probably like this, and hair is here. Oh, this like this. Don't worry about it being wrong or not perfect. Just draw the way you want to draw. 
and work it around that. Right. Don't worry if you're making mistakes. That's basically the goal of these sketches. And I love doing these all the time, but I don't really get a lot of time because of work. My work is like make big illustration stuff and like concept work and all that stuff and there you don't really get time to draw a lot of stuff they'll be like oh yeah you're just doing on one painting or two paintings or something like that and you just have to finish them so you don't really get a lot of time to do everything so yeah that's 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 just how full-time art work is man and you just do this, to, so I, whenever I get free time, I kind of spend my time doing this. Honestly, this is actually better to do. Um, the reason being is, it's this drawing skill that's actually going to get you work will actually get you a job. And the production painting work that you do is what is going to keep your job. I don't know if, like, how to make it sound, like, you know, accurate on that, but yeah. So, it's, it's kind of like, your studies uh, teach you techniques, which is going to help you, like, you know, learn how to draw, like, stuff, like, man, too many likes used in one sentence, but it'll teach you how to learn how to draw. Um that's as you get good you'll suddenly see a, a requirement where people will come to you and say like hey could you draw this for me and they're gonna they're gonna hire you for your hire you for your skills for these skills what you're doing and once that happens then you'll start doing like bigger paintings, which take longer time and takes a little more effort and all that stuff. So, and that is what will keep you, like it will keep your job. Because when you complete them, um, it kind of reflects and showcases that, oh, this person not only draws well, but they actually complete things that they work on. So, that's how it is, man. We'll do a little changes here. I can't really see this edge. I think in the picture, this person is holding the bottom of the gun, but I'm like, if the gun is too far away for my, my character, I don't mind showcasing the base. And this is like where you kind of take from your knowledge of your drawings that you've done in the past and then you're like, oh, this is how I'm going to draw things. Probably going to erase that out. Right. Um, this will help you actually get good. So I'm just roughly drawing this, man. For real, for real. Probably here like this. And this person's hand goes something like this. And this. And there's going to be this. Like, I'm super rough and super fast in this part. That's fine, I guess. Right? No, oh, this is the hand. And this is the weapon. And this is the... The nozzle of the gun, if you could call it. The eyes will be something like this. Don't like the hair that much. And if 
it's too even in partition so i'm going to change that a bit make one one a little long one a little short and all that so this will be here and this will be here okay and i guess you could draw something like this yeah i that's why i said i'll tilt the head a bit more it's, I wanted to draw the eyes something like this. Too mm, googly. Too <laughs> googly like this. Okay, so this is where this is where my own work kind of pops in, right? Because I'm stylizing the character from the reference that I've taken. Oh no. Not what I want. That is not what I want. Oh, there you go. Uh, a little more. But this should do it. It's a little crazy on the on the look. I guess. I don't know. But, okay. Um. I was like. But because this character reminds me of John Wick, I was like, yeah, I should call her, I should call her Jane Wick, or something, I don't know. Just, just, I'll just write that real fast. So you got this, you got the N, you got the E. And you could write the W like this. Maybe it be also tilted this way. Something like this. And I'm, you know, on purpose bending that font in the start to create like a sense of design um it could work couldn't work sometimes it doesn't work in your favor so there you go that's just creating composition so you kind of learn how to create composition through this and it helps too this is this is me creating the initial rough sketch right and if i want to detail this or if i want to if i want to like you know polish this up i just create a new layer and you know just draw over if you're hearing birds on the mic there are birds but not inside the house just saying okay. So here we go. This is basically inking the way I could do it. I'm not a professional inker. I'm not a comic book artist. I wish I was, but I am not. So I just know the best way I can do it and I'll just do it my way. And I hope it looks good. That's basically the goal. Um, here we go. This is the eyebrow. Right. It looks good, man. It looks good. There you go. The goal is not to make clean lines. The goal is just make it look good. So as long as you're making it look good, it doesn't have to be clean lines you'll still you'll still make good art so yeah don't worry about like your art your lines have to be like super crisp don't worry about that just make good art you, you i mean when i say good art i don't mean like art has to be pretty i mean like you know 
Just do the best way you can do it. See that? It looks good. It actually genuinely looks good. Um, say for example, I want to create a light source. So I'll mark it here. My light source will come in. And you got that. And a little bit of shadows. And this make this part makes things easier because it's actually it's literally shading. So you do this, right? Create the strokes. She's got that bullet in the mouth. Right. And then hair is coming down like this. She's got one hair strand like this. And then she's got a second one coming down here. And the third one coming down from here. Right. I don't know. I'm sure gear is not visible in that end, so never mind. And then on this end, we got a small one, and we got a larger strand of hair coming down like this. Her face. Yeah, just don't worry about over detailing things. Just worry about just completing it and making it decent. Right, you can tilt. And what I can do is use that to. Draw the rest of the part easy. Notice I'm not really worried about how clean my lines are. It's more about the flow. So if you can get this, then you won't have to worry about how good your line work is. All right. And like, there's a cool thing about the reference, right? The hair and the suits, almost the same color, or literally the same color because of the photograph so i'm actually gonna like join it and just leave it like this and then probably make if there's light source coming from above just have a light source will come right and the same thing on the other other end probably okay i know the, the gun kind of stops blocks the way here's the finger Right, and got this. Right, I got this. Right, I'm I'm like you see this, I'm like I I don't really care about whether the fingers actually join, but it looks better than if I was trying to make it super realistic. Uh, the mind kind of fills the space. So what's happening is that it's kind of reading where where the fingers are actually joining. So like it doesn't really, I don't really need to draw the whole thing. That's the that's cool part. So you basically have to trick your uh, what you call it? You basically are tricking your brain into the same thing, and that's basic. That's what I'm doing. And this part is like full, like it's fully dark. I know there's a button at the bottom. I'm not doing that. Like it's too small to do it. So, like never mind. Right. 
it's a very very uh funny looking version of john wick i mean jane wick in this case like uh oh i'm not serious at all i'm just a cocky one in this case <laughs> you know? so, yeah well, there you go this is how you will be able to design tilt it a bit okay i'll showcase how i'm like inking this part that would be like kind of cool to show but yeah you need to create like the line work first before you start inking or you'll just have a messy thing and messy uh version of art in your hands Right. Kind of crook kind of made that part crooked. It's like just in a dialect. Actually, I think I'll just keep it straight. It's fine. There you go. I I was like maybe I could stylize it, but yeah, no. Never mind. I'll bring this closer. Right. Compared to the sketch. And then the line goes there, and this line goes there. And we got ourselves the drawing. This is a cool trick you could do. This is the reason why you sketch. Sketching makes things so much more easier. Well, technically, I'm doing an easy one to begin with. Could make a complicated sketch, but... If you want a short video, this is all you get. Folks, it is what it is. And we got this, we got this. I hope my mic is audible. Because I've been having issues, man. Like, sometimes I sound like I'm very far away. And I was having this problem, but I know in the previous video I did not have this problem because I was like playing around with my settings and something worked and I can't figure out what was it. So I'll have to go back, figure that one out. So bear with me, folks. As I fix my mic. And continue drawing and just finish this sketch real quick See, it's not that hard man not that hard right it's not that hard and then this part i'm not drawing the detail i'm most i'll just draw this and then you do this this you gotta love this process or you'll never have fun drawing that's for sure i'm simplifying the gun I don't want to make like super crazy, you know, weapon, right? Uh, same thing goes here. And we got this joint. It kind of completes the, the sketch overall. And then when it comes to inking, look at your reference uh maybe you have a you you're following a specific inking process look at that process have a look at it first figure out what you want to do then start inking seriously it's gonna help right do this okay so i wanted to 
I wanted to tie in the hair and the suit part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shade this part like this. You can be slow at first. Um, just figure out whether you're doing the right thing or not. That's basically what you have to see. That's why I'm slow at first. You can do it on a new layer, or you can do it on the same layer. In my case, I'm doing it on the same layer because, frankly, I don't care. Um, but you can do it on the same layer, oh, on a new layer. Just, you know, showcasing that the eyebrows are visible. This is a cool technique you can do. Yeah. And this like this. Right. And we got this. And then, then you can do some more things. Like this. Make it bigger. See that? It's popping up. And that's basically how you ink things. You can zoom out an ink. You can zoom in an ink. It doesn't matter. At this stage, uh, the only time I zoom in is when I want to ink in details. If I'm like inking a larger space, then I don't mind zooming out. But yeah, that's that's something you can that's something how you can do things. And it's fine. It is completely fine. And you should be able to do like you should be able to complete most of the inking work in this fashion. Right. Save file. Always save your file, folks. Never know. For the fun fact is that I'm actually recording this the second time. The first time I was trying to record this thing. Uh, my system crashed and my file didn't get saved. And whatever was in there got corrupted. So I was like, oh, I'll have to draw this again, huh? So I'm drawing this the second time now. So yeah, that happens. Right, and we go at this point. It's like, understand that you're drawing a band over there. Because you feel like drawing one. And then like, create the line, create the lines where you want to add a little bit of randomness. There you go. Right. So you'll have most of the work done. And John Wick's artist kind of pulled off. Right, uh, um, the inking is like, the process is like very rough in my case, because I'm actually not a good inker. I'm still learning this process and I'm like trying to get better. So, hang in there with me, folks. That's gonna, ba that's bound to happen. Um, shade this part. See that? Looks cool now. And see this part in this fashion. Take your time in doing these because you wanna you want to make it look good. 
So yeah, really take your time in doing these. Don't worry if you make mistakes, but take your time doing it. Don't have to rush at all. Yours sincerely. And this is where the coat is, so. Well, so this really feels like it's a pencil sketch kind of thing, you know? Because if it was ink, it would be like pure black. And I could do that, but I like the roughness pencil work gives from time to time, so. And same, same thing goes with the other end. I can't... There you go. So, if I was to break inking down, the goal is you're creating lights and shadows using ink. You're not looking at the lines. You're looking at, like, where the light starts and where does the shadow end. And you're, you're inking around that, right? You're playing with the values, basically. So, if you can work in creating the value that way, then you'll probably have most of the inking done like really good. I'm still doing it roughly. Because this is just how I like it. I'll do it with the brush. And I want this part to be rough because it's the area that is not too much in focus so it's okay for that space to be kind of a little rougher in terms of level of detail there was a heavy strand there um actually it doesn't really matter okay same thing goes with this area And this space I can join. And I'll change the level of uh, what you call it how much dark this this part of the handle will be. So this is like the gun casing, right? So, yeah. And then the same goes for this area. I'll just do this and do this. Right, and then do this. Hatching works. If it does, do it. If it doesn't, don't do it. That's the goal. That's the rule, and that's how you must follow. So don't worry about it too much. All right, and then a little bit. All right. It's sharper. And I have the space. And I'm pretty much done, man. Catching, inking, whatever you may call it, kind of done, man. See, it's not that hard, it's just planning your drawing. So, plan your drawings all the time, folks. It helps. I'm joking. And once you finish this, 
Say for example, you want to create a source of light. I am going to do that as well. And that's where my inspiration, which is the reference at the bottom, comes in handy. So I want to create a light source. I'll set my image to screen. I'll take a different brush. Something a little easier on the blend. I'll take like, I want basically the blue color that is there on the I think I can I think I can do normal. Yeah I think I can do normal it's fine. Not sure why I wanted it on the screen. Right. The blue colors. Right, I've got like forehead there, I've got this area which is lighting up. I've got the top of the gun. That's probably lighting up. I've got this part of the shoulder. That's lighting up. A little bit on the ear. Face. Right. And what I can do is add an outer glow. See, see, I'm doing magic. All right, and uh, reduce the intensity. I don't need noise, I just need, need to reduce the size. So increase the spread, reduce the size. Yeah. One of the two. No, reduce the spread, increase the size. Okay, there you go. See that? Uh, this blue is too blue. Well, now, um, probably gonna change this a little bit. A green, increase the lightness. I go. And say if I want to, if I want to add color. What I can do is create a new layer, right, take a color palette, just color this part in, take maybe a little bit of reds, and maybe a little more, slightly on the darker side. For this area here, set up light sources for two seconds. We got this. We got the light sources. Then the glow effect is too strong. We will reduce it. We will reduce the opacity of the glow. There you go. And we will also increase the lightness there you go it's not that hard is it now so you got the hands i'm doing it very roughly because i just want to paint it quick as a demo to showcase how you can paint this stuff real quick Take a little bit of this. I'm gonna mix the palette. Okay. And I could go with this color a bit for the eyes. White for this part, and I don't know, brown maybe, reds, browns, the remainder of the eye. And I like to get colorful, so what I do is add in random strokes of colors. Because I just like to do that. Okay. 
Yours. Fine. And her suit's mostly dark, so I'm not coloring that part. What I am doing is... I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing. First, I'll paint this green. This part goes. So that this clean coloring, man. Okay. This part goes, this part goes, this part goes. I'll explain what I'm doing here in a quick minute, sir. Finally, hold your horses. Take a little bit of blue, and on a lighter tone. And this. It gives you a sense of white. But, in lighting. Because what happens is, white will absorb kind of a lot of colors. So it's going to give you like weird bands of colors reflected from it. So if you want to do that, you can just like paint it this way and you'll get like interesting uh, results, you know. And also, if I remember this tie is red. But I'm not really going to paint color the tie more. A little bit more on the eyes, I guess. Just a little bit here. This part. There we go. Da da da. And I can take this reds, this strong reds, and just color this part. How much time is up? 42 minutes marked in, folks. We are way past. No, we're in time. We're we are doing it fast, boys. We're speed painting. For real, for real. I'm not going to speed up this video when I put it up online. I'm just going to keep it at the same usual speed because I can a good way is doing selections and doing uh selections and like painting but I'm too lazy for that. This is the lazy man's way. So I shall believe in the lazy man's way. So please let me be a lazy man and do it this way. I shall be lazy. Come up with good results and be crazy. Right. There you go. There you go. A super strong red, no? Well, that's the goal. <laughs> that is the goal, sirs. That is the goal. The goal from from a quick sketch to color. Brought to you by me, your one and only, the cheekiest artist in the world. No, I'm just kidding. So, you're pretty much done when you reach this point and you're kind of, like, it's not, it's not very hard. It's like, uh, where is the first? Right, if I go over the whole thing. First sketch, then the line work, 
that are um, colors and lights. Simple as that. No other work. But thank you very much. Until next time.